Hey, how you doing? Justin back with you. Now we're going to talk about songs. And there are loads of songs that you can play with just A, D, and E. Like loads and loads of fun songs. If you're going to play along with the original recording, sometimes you might need to use a capo. And we've not really got into doing that yet. That's going to be something we discuss in the next lesson. So for now, you'll probably want to try and find some songs that don't use a capo, or you want to be using my beginner song course app and the play alongs from that. But just to give you an idea of some of the songs that you might want to check out if you're uh, playing this, you could have uh, just with A, D, and E. You've got all of the ones that just had A and D in them, like Born in the USA and Dance the Night Away and um, Feeling All Right and all of that sort of stuff. But you've got things like Three Little Birds. That's usually my recommended uh, three chord song because it's just such a great tune. I Walk the Line, The Gambler. Uh, Love Me Do by The Beatles, that's a little bit of a harder one. For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield, that's a really nice one. Common People uh, by Pulp, Five Years Time by Noah and the Whale, Leaving on Jet Plane, John Denver, Wild Thing, Love Comes to Town. There are so many songs, Lay Down Sally, Stir It Up, Twist and Shout. I mean, there's loads and loads of great songs that you can play with just A, D and E. So your task now is to find the songs that you really love playing and then work on those in your practice session. Now. I'm going to give you recommended songs like Three Little Birds. I think it's just a, such a great song for beginners that's relatively simple. There's not too many chord changes in it, but enough to kind of keep you on your toes. So if you're looking for one to do, that's going to be the one that's recommended that I use on my little practice session videos as well. But um, the, one of the key things, I think, for sticking with guitar is playing music that you really like. So that can be a really important part of it is trying to find the songs that you find inspiring to play. Now, if there are none there, let me know in the comments and say, hey man, you're not catering to my musical taste at all, right? Now, I'm, I'm, I can't be able to do every obscure little song that ever was, right? That's just not possible, but I'm trying to do a breadth of stuff that most people will find at least one song that they dig. If it, it might be as well that you may be not familiar with some of the songs. There'll be a Spotify playlist link in the lesson text that you can click on that'll take you to a playlist of all of those beginner songs. So maybe you just haven't heard For What It's Worth by Buff Buffalo Springfield. You know, especially if you're 16, you probably haven't come across that song before. So maybe you check it out and you go, hey man, they were doing some cool music back there. This is one I want to check out. So have a listen to some of those songs as well because you might discover some new music that you haven't heard before and that's always a good thing as well. So check that out. There will be a list of the songs on the website page. So just down below this video, you're going to find a whole heap. There'll be some that are available on the Beginner Song Course app. There'll be some that I've got play alongs on the website. There'll be some that are in my Beginner Song Books as well. So they're spread out over a whole bunch of different media. So you want to find the one that's working for you. You know, I know it's my app and it's a for sale thing, but it, the app is really killer for this sort of stuff. At this place where you're at now in your beginner journey, being able to play along with drums and bass and have the melody being played so you can just really concentrate on the chord changes and getting your strumming right, but it still sounds really musical and sounds like a song. I think it's the best thing ever for beginner guitar players. I really do. I think it's an incredible tool that you can use that will accelerate your beginner journey. Okay, and I think that's an important thing. But if that's not something that's available for you, then you want to check out the play along videos that I've got. Again, they'll be linked in the description below. And if you're not doing that, trying to play along with some original recordings can be really helpful as well. That's oftentimes it's the best approach, to be honest, to play along with the original recording. But just with AD&E, the, the palette choice that you've got there is a little bit more limited and you might need a capo. So I really hope you find at least a few songs that you really dig that you're going to practice on this week. If you've got any problems with the songs or any of the other lessons, do leave a comment on the website, okay? On the specific lesson that you're having a problem with is the most helpful for me. I get in there regularly and try and answer to those questions you also find the community might help you out as well so don't be afraid to ask questions it'll only help me make the course even better for you and everyone else that uses the course after you so i really hope you're enjoying it all so far let's get into some practice <laughs> 